Hey everybody, this is Kathy from Home Home and Body Health and today I want to talk to you about your microwave. So I have two reasons to talk to you about your microwave actually. First, as a nutritionist, um, you know, I, I don't recommend that people cook their food or heat their food up in the microwave because it can deplete some of the nutrients and it changes uh, some of the molecules in the food and I just don't think that it's a healthy way to prepare your food. Um, most of us have a stove or an oven and you can heat up your food this way. You know, I don't think I've used a microwave in over 20 years probably um, because I, I really don't have any reason to and let's face it, nobody really likes how the food tastes when it comes out of a microwave, right? It gets that funky scent from other foods that have been cooked in there and it doesn't heat um, you know, with good uniformity and so it tastes kind of rubbery and gross. Anyway, you don't need a microwave to cook your food. You can use a stove, you can use an oven, no big deal. Uh, but the other thing I want to talk to you about the microwave has to do with the radiation that comes off of it. And so, uh, you know, I'm also a building biologist and so I'm assessing the uh, radio frequencies in a person's house and how that might be contributing to their health. And so I get questions about microwaves quite a bit. Most people are not concerned with this because they've been using it most of their life, if not their whole life, and so they just don't think it's an issue. However, um, in the research that I've done over the past six years and the clients that I have worked with, I have seen that the microwaves can actually be an issue for some people. Now you might not make the connection that your headache you know, in the evening came from the fact that you were standing in front of the microwave earlier in the day or your anxiety or your depression or whatever. And it might not be from your microwave, but we do know that the radio frequency that comes from a microwave does impact us on a cellular level. It's all about the voltage gated calcium channels. If you want that science, I'll leave some links to the video below so you can look that up. Uh, you know, if you're going to use a microwave for 20, 30 seconds to heat up a, your coffee or your tea, you know, um, is that a big deal? Eh, I mean, that's up to you. I personally wouldn't do it, but probably not going to be a huge deal. But if you are standing here cooking three meals a day and you sit here in front of the microwave and wait for it for minutes, like I see many people do, I do not recommend that at all. So I just want to do a quick demonstration and let you hear what it sounds like, what the radiation sounds like coming from your microwave. So this is my professional high frequency uh, radio frequency meter from Gigahertz Solutions. It's an HF 59B. This tests radio frequencies in the spectrum of 27 megahertz to 2700 megahertz. So I'm going to turn this on and the sound that the meter makes tells me whatever what frequencies that I may be exposed to. So I don't have any radio frequencies in this house. I don't use Wi-Fi. I don't use cell phones. I don't use anything like that. So it's very quiet. I've got um, maybe 15 microwatts per square meter just from the background periphery. Um, so I'm gonna show you what it sounds like and, and potentially how high these levels get when I turn the microwave on. If I can even turn it on because I haven't used a microwave in over 20 years and I'm not sure I even remember how to do it. So let me, there we go, okay. So the microwave is on. So we have to move away. So, boy, gotta move further away, further away for you guys to hear me. I'm still picking up really high numbers. I'm coming, oh, it's, uh, about, I'm still getting 100 microwatts per square meter, 2,000 microwatts per square meter right here. I'm a good, I don't know, 20 feet away from the microwave or so, and I'm still picking up quite a bit. You don't hear it as much, but when I was right in front of it, it maxed out my meter. It's over 20,000 microwatts per square meter, 
and over here I'm really I'm still at 1400 which is still way too high okay so it just stopped the microwave stopped and I'm back down I'm at seven microwatts per square meter so even at like 20 30 feet away I'm still over a thousand microwatts per square meter building biology guidelines want that number under 10 so right now I am at 10 microwatts per square meter great love it that's where I want it but you can see what a huge dramatic impact that was when I was right next to it so the the takeaway here is that if you're going to use a microwave, um, you know, first of all, I don't want you to. If you're going to, don't turn it on and stand right here. That's insane. Um, you're getting well over 20,000 microwatts per square meter. I mean, this is radiation, you guys. It's coming right here at your brain. Um, and it that's not a good idea i don't even know how to turn turn this off I have to open it close it whatever um so actually what i recommend most people do is unplug their microwave altogether get rid of it uh there's no reason to even you know have one in your home um this could be you know this is um space here this is valuable space that you could use to extend your cabinet what i would really like to see here is a hood a vent hood um, there's no vent hood here and that's not great. We would like to see a vent hood here so that whenever we're cooking, we can divert that moisture outside of the house so we don't get any microbial growth. That's ideally what you want above your oven, not a microwave. So I hope that that helps to illustrate to you what's happening with your microwave. Please don't stand here. I see kids standing in front of microwaves all the time and it, and it really concerns me. So ideally, get rid of your microwave altogether. If you're gonna use it, you know, walk away, go outside, go somewhere else. I have many times been doing an assessment in a client's home, and when I have my meter on, I can hear the neighbor's microwave. Um, the sound is pretty unique. So it's, you know, definitely, you're getting a hit from a big distance. Um, so that's it on the microwave. Uh, hopefully you can put some of these practices into place, make your home a little bit safer. And if you've got any questions about that at all, please let me know. If you found this helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so I can keep bringing you these videos. And that's going to wrap it up for today. So thanks everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye.